welcome to By Golden Berry. I'm Tina and I'm going to show you how to make a really really easy soap saver like this one. They're so easy to make and it means you can start buying handmade soap instead of plastic shower gel bottles which will save a lot of waste. The size of this soap saver will depend on your bar of soap. I've made this one to fit the bar of soap that we usually buy and you'll be doing the same so you'll you'll need your bar of soap handy to measure against and this soap saver has two strings like this so that we can close the top and keep it safe inside whilst we shower what you'll need to make this soap saver is some yarn I'm using 100% hemp yarn which I'll link in the description below it's fingering weight. You don't have to use fingering weight. You could use lace or sport or light DK. It doesn't really matter for this project because like I said before, we'll be measuring it against our bar of soap. I wouldn't suggest using a chunkier yarn than DK because the soap saver will just end up being quite thick and heavy. So I would definitely opt for a lighter weight of yarn. I suggest using a yarn that's plant based. You don't want anything like acrylic or nylon because you'll be using this in the shower so you don't want any microplastics going into the water system. So definitely something plant based. Um, either hemp, linen or organic or recycled cotton would be best. I'll also link some other suggestions in the description below so just check those out. You'll also need a crochet hook. I'm using a three millimeter to fit the weight of my yarn. So just choose the hook that suits the weight of the yarn that you've chosen. You'll need a darning needle to weave in your ends, a pair of scissors, two stitch markers. I use paper clips, but you could use any stitch markers you like and of course your bar of soap. I'll be using this olive oil one. For this pattern I'm assuming that you know all the basics of crochet like how to attach your yarn to the hook and how to make a foundation chain. We're also going to be using the double crochet stitch. If you're not familiar with any of these then go and check out all my beginner tutorials and come back once you've gone through those. Okay let's get started. We're going to start our soap saver by chaining an uneven number of chains. So I'm going to chain about 11 chains to reach the width of the soap this way. So if we're looking at it as portrait, we want it to reach from left to right. So I'm going to do about 11. So I've done 11 and it reaches roughly from left to right of my soap. So that's perfect. So next I'm going to just grab my stitch marker and just mark this last chain that I've made. There we go. Just move that out of the way. And then I'm going to chain three and this will count as our first double crochet stitch. So that's our first double crochet stitch and I'm going to mark that last chain as well. So I know where our first stitch ends. And then we're going to chain one. This will be one of our chain spaces. And make our second double crochet into the second chain from this first marker. So we're going to skip one chain here and work into this second one. So that's our second double crochet stitch. You can see here that we've got a little square this is our first double crochet and this is our second double crochet. So we're going to carry on with that pattern all the way along. So we'll chain one 
and then skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain and double crochet into the next. And carry on like that until you get to the end of your foundation chain. I've reached the end of my foundation chain and we're going to make another two double crochets into this last chain. So again we'll chain one, double crochet into this last chain again. And one more time. So we'll have three double crochets in the last foundation chain. And then we'll pivot our work this way so that the underside of the foundation chain is facing upwards. And we'll work all the way along the bottom of the foundation chain the same that we did the top. So we'll chain one, skip this chain space here and work into the bottom of the double crochet of the top side of the foundation chain. Chain one, find the next double crochet and work into the bottom. And continue like that until you reach this first marked chain. I've reached my first marked chain. I've chained one again and we're going to work into this marked chain. Like that. And then we're going to chain one again and slip stitch into the second marked chain to join the two ends together. So we'll just remove these markers This is our first round done and it's just like a bit of an oval shape. We'll start our next round by chaining three again. This counts again as our first double crochet of the row. So we'll mark this last chain that we did. Chain one again and skip this chain space here and work into the top of the double crochet of the previous row. So we'll yarn over and do our double crochet into there. Chain one, work into the top of the double crochet and we'll just continue like that all the way around. Just keep chaining one and making a double crochet into the top of the previous double crochets. Meet me back here when you're close to the end of the round. I'm nearing the end. I've made my double crochet into the last double crochet of the previous round and I've reached the chain three. So what we do here is we make another chain one and slip stitch into this marked chain to join the two sides together. And there we go. So now we have like a little boat shape. This is what it should look like at this point. And the rest of the soap saver is just the repeat of the second round. So we'll just carry on as we were doing starting the round by chaining three. So we'll chain three again. Mark the last chain. Chain 
chain one and just do like we did on the second row. So we skip this chain space and work into the top of the double crochet of the previous round. And we just continue like that, repeating the second round until we've reached the length that we want for our soap saver. I've reached the right height for my soap saver. So that's about right. And I want, I want a little bit at the top for the drawstring. So I just made an extra round. I've made 10 rounds in total. Um, I've woven in all my ends just to get them out of the way. And what we're going to do next is take our darning needle just to make it a little bit easier to weave the strings in. I'm going to pick a central point of my soap saver. So here I'm going to I'm going to say this is the center. This double crochet. And I'm going to just weave my yarn in and out of the last round. for the drawstring. Just keep going in and out. Until we reach the front again. So we're at the front. And that's it. This is our little drawstring. I'm going to chop the ends. Get my pair of scissors. Just chop the ends and then make a small knot just to stop them from fraying. Make a small knot on both sides. And there we are, that's it. So now we can pop our bar of soap in. Use these strings to draw it closed. Make a knot or a bow, whatever you like. And now we know the soap won't come out. And that's it. I really hope you like this tutorial and start making your own soap savers. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments and I'll try and help out. And thank you for watching. If you like my tutorials, then please subscribe for notifications and I'll see you next time. <laughs>